Hi, I'm John Tachi from Tachi Building Companies in the U.S. and I've been asked to address the owner's benefits of building information modeling systems. Uh, this is a broad topic, so I'm going to drop it into four buckets. The first bucket is understanding the owner's program. The discipline of putting together a federated model of all the basic components of a complex project produces a final product that is um, a great visualization tool to confirm the owner's intent, to confirm the design team's understanding of the owner's intent, and also communicate that efficiently to the building team as well as the public. The second bucket is uh, as a vehicle or a platform to optimize execution of that owner's program. The ability to coordinate geospatially all the various components, dramatically improves um, execution fidelity, uh, drives out change orders or claims, and improves overall sustainability in material use, etc. It's, it's a phenomenal tool for doing that. Sequencing the work is an even more powerful tool as we found and many of your best builders have found as well. The ability to do virtual construction prototyping that uh, enables a building team to actually build and fail and then find out where the design failed and reiterate over and over again to find the optimal solution for execution of the work is a very, very powerful tool. The third bucket is as a platform for delivering a facilities management system or an improved facilities management system. The final as-built building information model tied into an owner's facilities management system enables um, vastly improved uh, operation and maintenance of the facility. According to several studies, the built cost of a project represents anywhere from 11 to 25 percent of its total cost of ownership. So improving how efficiently a project or group of projects is maintained is obviously extremely important. The fourth bucket is as a, as a tool for lessons learned, especially important in projects where groups of uh, um, elements are repeated over and over again or there are prototypical pieces that can be iterated to um, be executed more efficiently with each iteration. Capturing those lessons learned in the model, passing them on to the next iteration is an extremely powerful uh, aspect as well. So, there you have it. Thanks, John Tachik.